welcome back to another stream. I hope we're all doing well and having a wonderful, beautiful, amazing day today. Take two of this stream. Um, if you were here just a moment ago on my channel, I tried to, for the very first time, schedule a live stream to the calendar tab on Streamlabs, which that in itself was fine and dandy, everything was great. And then as soon as I was like, okay, I'm good now, like I need to be able to see Streamlabs so I can click my just chatting screen, and then it wouldn't let me click away from it. And I was desperately for like 10 minutes trying to figure out how to close out of this freaking schedule tab and it would not let me so I am so sorry for how long it took to be able to see me but welcome um, also you may not be hearing any noise because Stardew Valley has been pulled up for probably like 30 minutes now and it stopped playing the opening music so that's why it's kind of quiet we're here now though we're good hi everybody I miss you guys I am so excited to try this update I've been trying to stay away from watching people's streams of it just because I didn't want spoilers for myself Given I did see some of Concerned Apes post about like what's included in the update, but I haven't like actually looked at it or played it. So it's still fairly spoiler free for myself, if you get me. Um, hopefully I'm not muted or something, because that's going to be really embarrassing. I, I can't, can't believe, believe myself. myself. I, I was, was muted, muted that whole time. time. I, I just told y'all a whole story. A whole story. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to... I, I just need to take a nap, nap or something. So I, I just explained the whole thing, and, and I'm so mad. mad. Can, Can you hear me now? now? I, I wasn't muted. Wait, wait, what? Now, now I'm, I'm echoing? echoing? Oh, oh, that's, that's really great. great. Oh, wait, I fixed it. I fixed it. Okay, I think I fixed it. I think I figured out what happened. Teehee. I'm pretty sure I figured it out. Did I fix it? Now the cat's here. This stream is really something. I am so sorry, everyone. I feel like it wouldn't be my channel if there wasn't some kind of technical issue or chaos. The cat's here too. <laughs> um, thank you guys for being so sweet and so nice and so patient. Um, things are already chaotic very chaotic i'm so sorry um <laughs> but thank you for being here and supporting me and not totally ditching because i had some tech issues i love you guys very much let's move on to what you all came here for though which is me playing the update just give it a second okay cool i know the screen might not be moving right now but i figured out why it did that and i can fix it just give me a second as soon as i click over and i start a new farm it should start moving Okay, let me know. Can y'all see that? Like, can you see the game moving? It's very important. Because of stream up, you had to perform factory reset on your entire computer. I didn't. I just had to basically close out of that other stream and restart it. One last time of asking, and then I'll stop and I'll leave everybody alone. <laughs> um, so I'm not echoing right, and then you can hear and see the game, correct? Please verify for me before I continue. Uh, yes, yes. So we're all good. We're good. We're good. Okay, cool. Thank you. I love you guys. Thank you for not leaving whenever I have problems. I appreciate it. Okay, so wait, wait, hold on. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought these were two completely new farms. There's only one new farm. The beach farm was added a while back, but they just, he just had to like rearrange this section, I guess. Oh, it's in the background. I'm moving. We're all good. Yay. Okay. So I'm so glad it worked. All right. So I just need to like add my name. Of course. And I feel like a lot of people that played the new update did the Meadowlands farm. And I'm not going to lie, I probably will too, but it's okay. It's just exciting. But if you didn't see what it's about, it says, It's not the best for growing crops, but there's a chewy blue grass that animals love. And you start with two chickens. You literally start with two completely free chickens and a coop. Like, that is revolutionary. Luna, can you stop? <laughs> And then, I don't know about you guys, but I almost always choose the gray cat. Wait, there's another cat? I didn't realize there was another cat. Stop. There's, there's two new cats? There's another dog? Wait, is that one new? I think that one's new. That's so cool. I love that. I mean, I'm going to be me and like probably choose the same cat that I always do, to be honest. Well, look at that. I'm so excited. And then for my avatar, I pretty much almost always do the same thing. Hold on, this one's not pigtails, right? Okay, I think it is. Let me just change the hair. Okay, that one's better. And then for the 
shirt. I mean, I like the farm overalls, but I don't like the red shirt for it, so I'm gonna choose a different one. I chose the white cat. New pets, I know, there's brand new pets, and I'm literally, I feel like I'm exploding on the inside. Where was the purple one? I swear there was a purple shirt, or did I make that up? Also, wait, I just realized I didn't say hello to everyone because I was so busy panicking over the tech issues I had. Let me just stop and say hi for a second. I'm sorry. Um, hello, Hannah. Hello, Twisted. Hello, King Libra. Hello, Shiver. Hello, Christian. Hello, Megs. Um, let's see. Hello, Bill. Hello, Emilio. Hello, Breadbird. Did I miss anybody? I feel like I might have missed someone. I swear I feel like I did. Hello, Emilio. I don't remember if I said hello. Um, I don't think I missed anybody. I don't think. Oh, hello Crowley, welcome in. And then for the farm name, I don't know what I want the farm name to be, to be honest. I want this farm to be a very casual farm. I want it to be like very peaceful. I want to take my time with it. I do eventually want to get to perfection like I did with my last farm, but that memory I lost, unfortunately. So I want to get there eventually, but I'm not going to rush it as much this time. The cat's trying to get on my desk, but I just really would appreciate if she'd stop. She's making the desk shake. I kind of like this yellow top. It's cute. Oh, I did not mean to give myself a bob. <laughs> Oops. And the pants, I'm gonna make them a bit lighter so it matches the top. Okay. I feel like that's good. I like that. For the farm name, what did you guys call yours? If you made a new farm, what did you call it? I am gonna make sure to click this now because I'm gonna do the Meadowlands farm. But could you imagine if I did all of this and then I still click the wrong farm type? I honestly, at that point, would probably have to cry. I really would. And hear me out, but what do we think about the name Serenity for a farm? Like Serenity Farms, I feel like it sounds very peaceful, very calm, and very casual, but it's still the same farm as any other farm, you know? I feel like it sounds good. But you can put hats on your pets too? That is so cool. Also, hello, Captain Price. Welcome in. I remember I said hello. I chose the name Willow Lane. I kind of want to choose the name Serenity. I also thought about literally just naming it casual, but I feel like that doesn't sound as pretty. For my favorite thing, I feel like I usually choose one of the fruits. And then I am going to skip the intro unless there's somehow a new intro, then never mind. I'll watch it. The intro is the same, right? Does anybody know? I don't want to click away until I know for sure. I can figure a name, so I called it Farm Farm. <laughs> That's funny though. I'm just calling it Farm Farm. I'm watching this on my phone while using Split View. I don't think I've ever tried that. I'm just about ready. I just want to make sure that I don't like possibly miss a new intro before I click away. I don't know. I usually skip it. Does anybody know before I click away? I feel like I'm probably good, but I just want to make sure. Oh, and on the other stream, I swear I pinned a message here on the other one before I had to restart in them with this one, but I feel like it just didn't stick for some reason. So I'm just gonna pin that really quick. There we go. Okay. Uh, just go on, you know, the three lines at the bottom of your screen, the one that brings in multi-picture. I'm gonna have to try that at some point. I skip it too, but I can check. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip it then. I'm sure it's okay. Double checking, I have that selected. And here we go. I'm so excited. Like you literally have no idea how excited I am. Like I feel like I'm gonna burst at the seams how excited I am for this update. Ooh, okay, so this is my house. Am I still gonna get the go-to parsnips? I got hay. Interesting. I guess maybe it gave me hay because I have the free chickens. That, and then apparently the land isn't as good for growing crops on this farm, which obviously like you still can, because like that's one of the biggest parts of the game, but. Okay, okay, I see you. Where's my coop though? There's the coop. Okay. 
Live, love, love, Stardew. Thank you, Angel. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'm honestly just gonna clear just enough for right now that I can grow crops, at least a small amount of them. I need to name my chickens, check on them, make sure they're okay. I don't even know if they have food to start with. It's probably always given the hay. And then at some point, I do need to go buy the actual seeds. I'm not used to playing Stardew Valley on my computer. Whenever I filmed my 50 days of Stardew Valley video, I did that on PC. But I'm not gonna lie, I am such a Switch player for Stardew Valley. So I feel like I go a little bit slower on PC. And I'm already getting distracted. I'm supposed to be cutting down all of this debris, and I'm just over here walking around in the grass. Somebody stop me. I've been kind of stressed about changing all my mods, but I had to reinstall them because it glitched, so hopefully it fixes it. Hi all, hello Angel, welcome in. Also, hey, really quickly, I know we're past the tech issues that they've been fixed, but I wanted to ask, how long was it echoing for? And also, how severe was the echo? It's okay to be honest. Just because later, I definitely want to add a timestamp to a pinned comment just so that way people can skip to whenever they can hear me and I'm not echoey. I'm waiting for the Switch update so hopefully it doesn't take too long. I feel like it won't, but also it makes perfect sense that Concerned Ape made it for PC first just because whenever he first made Stardew Valley, it was originally just for PC and then eventually he branched out to other platforms. So honestly, I'm really not surprised. Press a 4K can reach 5K. The way that I would literally implode is somehow I reached 4K and 5K in the same year. I, I have no idea what I would do with myself. I really don't. And thank you for being a member for nine months. I appreciate you. Angel a good minute and it was really loud. I'm so sorry. Two dollars through super chat. Live. Laugh. Pick your chicken. Love they get, oh, they're given random names. Okay. Well, hopefully they're not something ugly like Doodle Fart and heart face or something. Okay, what are their names? We have Portobello, like a mushroom. Okay. And we also have, I'm guessing it's pronounced like a CH sound, so like Porcini. Okay, well, we got Portobello and Porcini, two Ps. What do you mean stylos required for that? Why can't I just place it down? That's so rude. Hey sister, it's me, your favorite and non-favorite person. Hello, BK, welcome in. Mushroom chicken, that's literally what they are. I got Beluga and Misty. It felt like Angel's message took a long time to show up on stream. Okay, this may pause the screen for a sec, so don't panic if it does that. Um, but the alert box is on. So it should be, there shouldn't be any problems. I haven't changed anything with my alert box at all. Actually, let me go back in. I'm gonna open up this little gate so that way the chickens can come out and explore. But I will, however, be closing this. Okay. Now we can go get some seeds. I'm gonna play starter while you're streaming this. You should, you really should. Oh, and by the way, while we were talking about it, um, speaking of hitting 4K, tomorrow is my 4,000 subscribers celebration live stream. It'll be starting at 11 a.m. Central, and I'm going to be going for approximately seven hours or so, depending on what we end up doing in the games and how into it we get. But I'm really excited. I hope to see you guys there. these and then I already have like no money left but I feel like cauliflowers are pretty good money makers and they're expensive so I'm gonna get like three I guess since I can't afford anything else never mind in my ideal world I would have loved to get four so it would be an even number it's gonna be a chaotic seven hours it really is truly hi Lexi hello it's Eli welcome to the stream I have it saved on my computer, I don't think so. I did it on my phone. But you guys, I found this thing that let me make my Stardew Valley avatar for free. 
and I just am so hyped over it. Like it was so cute. And I want to show you guys. Maybe at some point during the stream, I can stop for a sec and then download it onto my computer through my email because I sent it to myself. I want to be able to show you guys. I should have been counting these. I don't know why I'm not counting. How many of those do I have left? I can't see the number on my screen, so I have to play this windowed, and it's covered right now. Okay, there's one left. So. I want to see. I really like it. I thought it turned out really cute. I also wanted to say, for everyone that was very patient earlier, whenever I was having a couple of tech issues, Y'all are real ones, and y'all are collectively baddies, and um, I just really appreciate you. Because you easily could have just ditched and like left, <laughs> but I appreciate that you didn't. Okay, that's taken care of. I'm gonna go ahead and honestly just go around and say hi to all of the other characters, because I want to be better this time around about having friends in the game and really speaking to them because you don't have to be trying to romance them just to up your friendship levels. I was even still really bad about it on my perfection run file that I had. Like I try really hard to be good about it and it's just hard to remember it for some reason. What should I give to Abigail? I think sometimes if you give her certain crystals, she'll eat them. The cat's in my lap again. She just really wants to make herself known today. Oh wait, I also wanna add something. I know it's raining um, in the I almost clicked the I button. Wait, is it escape? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to turn off the flashes for the storms while I still remember, because I feel like it can be really intense for people to see. Even if you don't have something like epilepsy, I feel like it can just be really intense to look at, and it's just harsh on the eyes. I per Luna, do y'all see this? She's trying to push the Squishmallow out from behind me so she can lay behind me. I don't think you can see, but she literally is sitting behind me trying to push it out of the way with her head so she can lay behind my back. Like, Miss Ma'am, do you not see that I am mid-streaming? I think she likes amethyst. I always get how long it takes to clean up a new farm. Me too. I think after I go around and say hello to everyone, I'll use my remaining energy to just try and clear up a bunch of it. Yeah, trust me, I don't wanna have another seizure. I try to remember to always turn that off for streams. Whenever I'm playing on my own though, I don't mind it because it doesn't bother me, but I know it bothers a lot of people. Just wants all the attention today. She really does, honestly. And then where is Haley? She's not in here. It's raining real life where I live. I wish it was raining here. stopped pushing the squishmallow but that was really funny like she jumps up in my lap and goes behind me while I'm sitting just to use her head to nudge it out of the way wait what's since when was this over here am I only just now noticing that <laughs> imagine if those were real and I could actually hit them so I just like stole his rocks Gunther normally for like a cute little conversation, but you can't. Unless I'm somehow doing it wrong. Question, how long are you planning to stream today? I may have to leave early to get ready for birthday dinner for my great aunt. Probably around two, two and a half hours, possibly three hours if I get really into it, but definitely no longer than that. Just because I have a couple of really important things to do later today. Okay, how many people have I gotten? Let me see. I've talked to a good amount of characters already and that checked off Lewis and Robin for me just because I believe you talk to them right away whenever you start and I just didn't do the opening screen. I need to find Maru. I need to say hi to all the kids. I need to say hi to Elliot. I believe I'm gonna say hi to Penny and Leah still. Um, Alex, there's a good amount of characters. I feel like for this early in the game, I've said hello to a lot of them. Oh wait, there's Alex right there. Hello. A 
Lexi, how has Ben? He's doing good. I'll keep track of the time and I'll let you know. Thankfully, I can see everything on Streamlabs again. That was so stressful earlier because the whole scheduling function with Streamlabs is great and all. Like, I had no problem with that part itself. But then, like, once I had the schedule, like, calendar thing pulled up and I was ready to click just chatting, it literally would not let me click away. And I tried so many different things and it just kept making it worse and worse. So I eventually just gave up. Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to find everybody else. I will continue trying to say hello to everyone the next day. I want to go back to my farm and try to clear up more of the stuff that's everywhere. That's like the, that's the worst part of a Stardew farm whenever it's brand new. Whatever kind of farm it is, is there's always a ridiculous amount of debris everywhere. But to be fair, it's meant to be an abandoned farm. So of course, it's going to have a lot of that, but still. I know, holy macaroni. Like literally, like look at all of this. And you know what I was thinking about the other day? This is kind of random, but it also to some degree has to do with Stardew Valley. I don't remember who posted this, so I would have to go back and look. But I saw a creator post a video once that was titled something about um, the farm sim renaissance or something about just there being a lot of farm sim games, which I agree, there's definitely a lot of them. But when it truly boils down to it, there is just something about the charm of Stardew Valley that I find so unbelievably appealing and cozy and it makes me just really happy. Like, there has been a lot of other farm sims that I've enjoyed, but if for some reason you, like, had to force me to pick only one that I could play forever and I couldn't play any of the other ones, immediately I'm picking Stardew Valley, no questions asked. And that might be just me. There might be a lot of other people that would pick a different one. Like, I really like Coral Island, too, but as much as I like it, low-key, some parts of it feel like copy-and-paste Stardew Valley. And I don't know if anyone's going to agree with me. It's okay if you do or you don't. I just feel like... I don't know. There's a lot of games I feel like directly took a lot of inspiration that are borderline copying from Stardew Valley, you know? So with that said, I just feel like it's the top tier farm sim. But again, that is purely of my own opinion. So if anybody disagrees, it is totally fine. It's still egg day on my little farm. I'm still mad because whenever I, I had that recorded for my 50 days of Stardew Valley video, but as I had said a couple of times, a lot of that footage got corrupted and it was a miracle I got most of it back. But unfortunately, I was never able to retrieve the footage from the egg day, which was really, really annoying. So, sad times, but it's okay. <laughs> Stardew is my favorite game. Also, daily reminder, hydrate and like the stream. Thank you so much. Yes, liking the stream is completely free and it's a super simple way to support me. Thank you so much. Hey, farm was nice. The graphics and artwork is gorgeous, but Stardew has my heart. Me too. And I also really, really loved Fay Farm. I thought it was a really unique concept, but there are still things that weren't my favorite about it. And like, aside from Animal Crossing, because Animal Crossing, the whole franchise itself has a really special place in my heart and always will. But like, aside from Animal Crossing, especially saying that because New Horizons doesn't get updated anymore, aside from Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley has got to be my favorite game. Given I'm not always in the biggest mood to play it because, you know, you're inevitably not going to be sometimes. But I just feel like there is just something about Stardew Valley that is so charming and so enjoyable and I love it. Also, um, where is the nearest water source on this farm? I'm not used to it yet and I need some for my watering can. Normally, I don't get the, the well for my farms, but I might need it for this one. The CC look. There's technically a lake down here, but I don't want to go all the way down here all the time just to get water for my watering can. So as soon as possible, I want to get the well. I just I feel like it would help. Speaking of Egg Day, Bunny Day is coming up. Do you guys remember early on in New Horizons how cursed Bunny Day was? Because the spawn rate for all the eggs was really, really off. And everybody was just like not wanting to play because of how annoying it was. That and then Zipper T Bunny is just Loki, kind of a jump scare, let's be real. My cat's got a new cat tower last week and they love it. And what brand was it and how much did it cost? The reason I'm asking is because Luna needs another cat tree and I feel like a lot of the nice ones are just expensive. Like it doesn't even need to be super fancy or anything, I just need one that'll work that's not going to cost me a ridiculous amount of money. 
Hey, funny day. Reason why zipper. Question, who else got the Wildland Island? Wait. Oh, you mean the farm with the monsters? I don't have that one. I've tried it before and it stressed me out. Like, I've tried pretty much every single farm at least once. Okay, definitely, first two things I need to save money for, a backpack upgrade and also a well, because this is going to drive me crazy. Do I have enough, though, to craft the chest? Oh, look! Tartini and Portobello. I'm just going to throw away the mixed seeds, because I need space. All of this can go in there. Let's go. It's from Etsy. It's called a happy stack. Oh, for some reason I felt like for like I was looking at the other messages about bunny days when you said that I was like, wait, what? And then I realized we're talking about the cat tree. I love being scatterbrained. I believe I still need to talk to Haley. And then I haven't said hi to Willie. I need to go do that so I can get my fishing rod. Speaking of, I'm not excited to start over with fishing because whenever you first start, the green bar is so tiny. It's really annoying. I haven't said hi to you yet. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I'll send you the link. I will say it's a lot better quality than what you get from regular stores. I really don't need anything that's super fancy or looks like super expensive or anything. I just need one that functions that's not expensive. You know? And then I would go in there and say hi to Sam again, but he's still in bed. I currently have it and it's really chaotic. Yeah, that one I don't like. I feel like I liked literally all of the other farms except for that one. I don't think I've said hi to Marnie either. So I'm gonna go over actually wait, no I'm not. I lied. <laughs> I haven't said hi to Haley yet, and this is where she is. And I think she comes out of her room around 11 or so. And then I've already said hi to Emily about romancing Emily in this file. She has a crystal garden. It's a joke, but I literally, Ben and I used to always laugh about how I have beef with Emily. It's because on the very first time that we ever played Stardew Valley together a couple years ago on our co-op farm, we didn't understand the concept of romancing characters just because I had never encountered that in the game until Stardew Valley, fun fact. And we didn't understand that like by talking to certain characters enough and giving them presents, etc., and doing that consistently would make them like you. So Ben was doing that with Emily and then she like started like romancing all on him and I was like excuse me like back off my man <laughs> and so now we just laugh at um I have beef with Emily but in reality she's not that bad of a character at all it's just a joke that we have here's a crystal garden I want a garden just for crystals too that would be nice I'm gonna go down to the beach and say hi to Willie, and that's probably gonna be the best opportunity for me to maybe find Elliot. I don't remember when he comes out of his house though. And I can skip this and therefore I'm going to, because I've seen that screen a million times. I'm gonna do some schoolwork while listening to the conversation. No worries, if you wanna lurk, you're more than welcome to. It's definitely not bad, by the way, but on a slightly unrelated note, we had a lot of storms recently and it had shut off my computer. Thankfully, like my computer's not fried or anything. Like it's good, it's okay. Um, but it did turn off my computer and it somehow managed to get into my Streamlab settings. I don't get how this happened. It's, it's just some sort of glitch. Maybe it was just a glitch, maybe it was a storm, I don't know. But it made my camera settings be really dark. Like it looked like I had almost all of the lights off and it was weird. So I had to try and fix that. It may not be the exact same as it was whenever you last saw me live, but I feel like it's pretty close. And that's what's important here, right? Oh, I haven't said hi to Demetrius yet. I need to go do that. And then Sebastian's probably gonna be the hardest to get a hold of just because he likes to hide. Let's see if my game runs smoother because it opened a lot of space on my computer. Oh, was it just like lagging a bunch or something? I'm sorry. I keep forgetting it's Saturday. <laughs> like I'm like, hmm, I wonder if there's anybody at school today or whatever. I feel like whenever I do earlier streams, a lot of you were either at school or at work. I'm also gonna try to find Linus while I'm in this area. 
also, hey, is Sebastian in here by chance? No, he's not. Okay. Sometimes he is. Alexia, how are you? Hello, Organ Angel. Welcome in. I'm good. How are you? I was a little stressed earlier because we had a handful of tech issues, but thankfully everything is fixed now and it's all good. And I'm just in a really good mood today, aside from that, just because Stardew updates here and I finally got to play. I had to force myself to stay away from spoilers, which was really hard, but I'm glad that I did because I feel like it's made the experience of playing it for the first time a lot more exciting. And also on Wednesday when I was going to get dinner for both me and my dad, I was having crispy chicken with cheesy chips and I was having nine inch margarita with cheesy chips. I would love to have uh, some margaritas, I'm not gonna lie, but not on stream. The cat's moving to Squishmallow again. Can she stop? Let me know if y'all see that at some point. Do you see the pink thing moving up behind me? Yeah, that's the Squishmallow and she's pushing it out of the way. I'm on spring break. It took like 10 minutes to load the actual game. Um, Luna, now... I'm literally, I'm about to kick this cat out of the room. Like I'm about to put her in the hallway because now she's scratching her claws on my chair. Miss ma'am, do y'all see this? I guess it's not showing up for you because I don't see it on the camera. But I swear, she's just doing whatever she wants and not caring at all about what I have to say about it. Miss Luna Petunia. Okay, I'm just gonna leave her there, I guess. Hello, Superior Edgar. Welcome to the stream. Phone's on spring break again. I want a gaming laptop. Gaming laptops are nice. I don't need one, but if for some reason I didn't have this PC, I would honestly consider getting a gaming laptop. Because fun fact, if you have a nice enough one that can support it, you can absolutely stream games off of your laptop. But again, you, only certain laptops can handle that. Some of them really just can't, so... Just a food for thought, if you ever consider doing that with your life, if you have not already, and you want to do it with a laptop instead, just be careful about what laptop you choose, because some of them will run a lot better for streams than others. The Squishmallow disappeared. Did you see it behind me? <laughs> that was her just moving it, so if you see that again, it's probably just my cat. She's been extra attached to me lately, so she probably just wants to feel close to me. Okay, I can't pick that up. I can't wait until everything is cleared because I want this farm eventually, not right away, just because I've got to, you know, I've got to be able to enjoy things and not stress myself out over it. But eventually, I want it to be a very pretty, like, aesthetic, organized farm. I almost said unorganized. And just, like, why would I manifest that for myself? Gaming laptops are really nice, to be honest. Oh, they are, for sure. I feel like they're kind of underrated. Not the drink I meant pizza. But anyways, back to the story. I was walking by the stream and saw some guys smack a dog. That's so horrible. We do not support that kind of behavior here. We really don't. This is an animal loving and appreciating household. We do not support harming them. I saw like a pink outline and then I looked away and then it disappeared. <laughs> it's because she was pushing it around with her head. Okay. I'm gonna have to just slowly day by day clear everything. But I feel like considering I've gotten pretty much all of it off of this area with the exception of these trees, I feel like this is enough. Like this is sufficient land for crops. And you know what? I think I might go practice some of my fishing while I'm waiting. I didn't do anything, but I wanted to. Well, I hope that dog is okay. That's so horrible. And I also hate animal abuse. I should have brought my phone with me. That way I could have gotten on video and reported it to the police. Well, definitely if you ever see that person being harmful to their pet again, you probably should try and say something if you can. As long as that's not going to put you in harm's way because your safety is important as well. But yeah, that's definitely really horrible. And it makes me really sad that people do that. 
By the way, I wanted to ask, so if you guys are playing the new update and you did the Meadowlands farm, the new type, let me know what the game named your chickens. I need to know. It's for science. For a first catch, I feel like that was pretty good and I'm glad that it was a cart because I need that for the community center. Hello Cody, welcome to the stream. I'm saving up for a gaming laptop. Gaming laptops can sadly be expensive, but I feel like it's for a good reason, just because they're meant for like running games that like an actual PC would. Um, and a good amount of them you can stream off of too if you decide to be a streamer. catching fish that I already need to donate and I haven't missed yet. I feel, I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job not to toot my own horn. I'm just proud of myself. <laughs> I'm so bad at fishing this game. I haven't tried it on mobile so I don't think I can help you there but I have tried it on Switch and PC and I feel like it's definitely a learning curve but like once you understand it I feel like it definitely gets significantly easier from there. But I remember whenever I first played it with Ben I literally for like the first one or two in-game years I forced him to do all of the fishing since he was good at it and I wasn't. Like, it stressed me out. By the way, please be sure to like the live stream if you have not already. Liking the stream is completely free and it's a super easy way to support me. Thank you so much. I also just realized I forgot about my coffee on my desk. It's just black coffee, but... um. I don't like to sip on it out of the mug just because I feel like it gets like a stain on my upper lip. And if I'm wearing makeup, it's especially annoying. So I'm using a straw. Oh, there was another thing about Stardew Valley that I wanted to share. This is really specific pertaining to my experience when I first played Stardew Valley. But I used to always love lighting candles whenever I played. It said, like helped to set the mood and it was like a, made it for a very peaceful and relaxing time to play the game. But there was this one particular candle I almost always burned when I played. So now in my brain, I permanently associate Stardew Valley with that smell. But sadly, that candle got discontinued because it was like a limited edition one. And now I can never find it anywhere. And it makes me so sad. It literally makes me so sad. I would love to have another one of those candles. Like literally, I don't get why companies do that. Whenever something is popular and it's popular for a good reason and it sells really well, then why do you discontinue it? It doesn't make any sense. Thank you for the hydration reminder. I did not actually bring water in here, so <laughs> oopsies. But I do have my coffee. Um, I'll be sure to hydrate and drink plenty of water later. I'm sorry. Please don't yell at me. I was born with oversensitivity, so when I failed, I felt really bad about it. I'm gonna grab some water. I'm actually thirsty, trying to keep people engaged. Why did I think you meant like engaged as in marriage for a second? <laughs> but yeah, I promise it's not just you. Stardew Valley fishing is really hard. I'm gonna flip this screen over because um, I'm distracted by my phone going off. This way, I'm gonna save all of my eggs. That way, eventually, whenever I have a mayonnaise machine, I can. Um, Start making much mail right away. Speaking of mayonnaise machines in the game, I love that that's a sentence I can say. But speaking of that, before you couldn't eat the mayo to get health and energy boost, and now you can. It's part of the update. <laughs> like literally one of the pictures that Concerned 8 posted on Twitter was like, you can now drink the mayonnaise. <laughs> and I just feel like without context, that sounds so silly. Don't we all associate one place or game with a smell? I definitely do. I mean, if you were wondering, by the way, the candle in question was called Pure White Cotton. I think it was called that. And then the brand was White Barn. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Now I want to look it up. I don't want to make the game freeze. So I'm going to Google that to make sure. It's technically in my closet. But I don't want to get up just to go look at a candle name because that's a little ridiculous. But I'm pretty sure it's what it's called. Pure White Cotton. Okay, that's not the brand that I typed. Please cooperate.
Okay, that's what I thought. So the brand is White Barn, and it's called Pure White Cotton for the scent, if you were curious. I 100% subconsciously associate that smell with Stardew Valley. For me, it's memories. I remember, I think Dora the Explorer is like a warm, rubbery type of smell. I associate watching Dora when I was a kid with, you know those like ice cream type popsicles you'd get at the ice cream truck that had the bubblegum balls for the eyes? I associate it with that. Specifically being at a beach house my family had rented at the time and eating those popsicles while I watched it. Okay, they're not coming out. I'm just trying to be better about saying hello to everyone this time around. And I can't remember when you can go to the mines, so I feel like I'm just kind of meandering around in the meantime. I suppose I could practice more fishing, though. Those things looked like they came from the seventh layer of hell. They were always so scary looking. Like, let's be real. Sometimes if you got lucky, it would look kind of normal, but a lot of times I feel like it would be partially melted and then it would re-solidify. Then it would look like part of like their cheek or something was like bleeding over into where the hair is supposed to be. Very specific, but if you know, you know. Bee jelly. Do I want to know what that is? I don't think so. What is this sea jelly? I'm guessing it's one of, definitely one of the new items. I would have seen it at least once by now if it wasn't new. Keep that, you'll need it, okay. I will keep that in mind. Don't tell me what it's for though, because I want it to be a surprise, but I will definitely keep it. I just want to make sure that this like makes sense, by the way, whenever I say this, and this doesn't necessarily have to apply to Stardew Valley, it applies to all video games. But y'all know what I mean when I say that a game can be like one of your top favorites or your very top favorite game in the world. But despite that feeling, you're just not always in the mood to play it. Like you really like it, but you're not always in the mood for it. But you still really like it regardless, you know? Because that's me with Stardew Valley. Like I would consider it my favorite game at this point, but I'm just not always in the mood for it. I feel like these three are pretty easy to find and gather. So to be honest, I'm just going to sell the dandelion so I can have this. I looked it up and I've been left with more questions than answers. Yeah, if you find anything on it, don't tell me what it is because I'm trying to keep as much of this as a surprise for myself as I can. Just so that way it's extra exciting whenever it happens. Also, I don't remember what the date for it is and the timing of it is, but if you go up to this bush at a really specific moment on a specific day, and you click on it, Marnie and Mayor Lewis pop out of the bush because they were doing the special tango in the bush. I, I'm going to call it that so that way YouTube doesn't yell at me for saying that. really random but you know what I tried for the first time the other day I had in and out and it was honestly I if you know me I have sensory sensitivities with food because of my autism and I'm very picky about burger meat because of that but I really like theirs I had no problems with it the only thing that I will say is I feel like the animal style fries were like overhyped so a lot of people said to get those not they were really good I tried it it was okay but it also wasn't great and I probably wouldn't order it again. I thought Stardew was PG. There is, there's some hints hidden in there, here and there. I can actually go and show you if I go to Marnie's house. I'm gonna go fishing again for a little bit. So I'm waiting for this to open so I can go in here too. And I just need to sell the fish to get money. But, there's the purple shorts thing in Marnie's house and then the bush thing. I just don't remember what day and what season it is, etc. to do the bush thing. Oh, 
Oh, I have a fun question to ask you. This is for everybody, regardless of what games you play. I asked somebody this, uh, I asked Planty Gamer in her stream the other day, and I wanted to ask you guys too. So for you guys, are there any games where you really liked it at first, or you were really excited to play them, but you lost interest pretty quickly and stopped playing it because of that? And if so, what games are those for you? Because for me, it's Ooblets. I really loved the idea of Ooblets. It looked adorable. I loved all the colors. I loved the characters. I thought it was a really unique idea for a farm sim, but I feel like I lost interest relatively quickly because I found it really difficult to progress and also kind of hard to understand at times. Like, it just kind of sucked the fun out of it for me. So if you guys have any games that make you feel like that, what are they? I'm curious. Your retainer is really loose? Go fix it. Did you guys ever have an expander for braces? Because I had one. Expanders are literally so awful. I would not wish having to have one on upon my worst enemy. They are so uncomfortable. And then turning the key for them makes me just cringe thinking about it. My trainer is pulling an elastigirl at me while I'm eating pizza? Wait, so it's like moving around or like stretching or something? I don't even know how it could stretch. I've already caught these two fish, by the way, previously, so stuff that I'm catching right now, I'm definitely just gonna sell because I need the money. My character literally has $60 and that's it. Technically it's gold, but you know what I mean. like half a second zone down I was supposed to be trying to fish it but just I love when I have moments like that not really I had an expander it was that weird bear trap type looking one I had to get caps and expander braces or retainer like the whole shebang I had spacers I had an expander and then I had braces so I feel you getting impressions taken for literally any kind of dental work is also just so nasty have y'all ever had to do that? Because I definitely did a couple of times. Okay, I'm going to stop that for now. I'm going to go and check. Have I said hello to everyone yet? So, Jody, Vincent, Jazz, Haley, Elliot, George, Demetrius, Linus, Caroline. Harvey, Evelyn, Emily, Clint, Pam, Sam, Abigail, Alex, Leah, Pierre, Mary Lewis, Robin, Willie. I need to say hi to Shane. Um, okay, I said hi to almost everybody. While I'm over here, I'm going to see if somehow I'm lucky enough to get a hold of Sebastian. Just because he is almost always in his room. And you can't go in there until you have two hearts with him. Sadly, I don't think we're going to be able to get a hold of him. And then I can't go in Maru's room either. Actually, he's not in his room, so if I go outside right now and I look around, I might be able to find him. I think at this point he's supposed to be somewhere down here. He's got to be close by. I mean, maybe he's at the beach? It's rare that he's out of his room like that. So, like, I have to go see. Oh, there he is. Sebastian, bestie, come here, please. Okay, thanks. Never mind. I can't go in there.
Oh, another thing that I wanted to ask you guys, if you're playing the Stardew Valley update, and if you like you played at least once, did you make a brand new farm or did you keep your old one? Reason I'm asking is just because I feel like it was pretty split for a lot of people. Concerned Ape himself recommended though that you do make a new one. You definitely don't have to, but I feel like he said that he recommended it. I'm having a brain fart about which house um, is Shane's. So I have to look around to find it. Literally, where is Shane? Where is he? I made a new one on Switch. I'm not going to. Wait. Oh, wait you're not going to make like a new one on PC too? lives at Marnie's. I just, I had a brain fart and I was like, where is Shane? I haven't even seen him yet. Oh, it's close. Okay. Well, I will come back the next day then. I do need to find another dandelion to use because I had to throw mine away to be able to have the storage space. So if I could find at least just one, that would be great. Here we go. I hope you enjoy your lurk, BK. I made a new farm on PC. What's like the silliest farm name you think you've ever had? I've had a lot of farm names before, and I think I literally named one of mine Squishmallow Farm once. Well, while I'm over here, I'm gonna go get the wild onions. I only just learned this after somebody had commented on my 50 Days of Stardew Valley video. But the onions that are always all the way over here, I just thought for some reason because of the way that they're planted, that they were someone's onions that they grew, like just some character in the game. Never mind, I can't pick these up. I will come back for them at a different time. <laughs> I also thought that somebody had planted them and I was like, whose freaking onions are these? And they were like, they're called wild onions just because they're wild and they showed up there on their own. But at the same time, that is such a random detail. <laughs> Better run, see you besties. Bye BK, thanks for being here, we appreciate you. There's a hair in my face. There we go. We haven't done it yet, but later today, like sometime after the live stream, we're going to make a smallish grocery order because I've got to be able to eat during tomorrow's big stream. Just like I, I can't just not eat that whole time. I'm going to get too hungry and then not have any energy. But I also want to make sure it's something like not super loud because you know how when you chew on certain things, some of them are a lot louder than others. I don't want to be crunching and munching super loud on the mic because that's disgusting. That's really, really gross. So I'm trying to think of things that I could eat that I like that also aren't going to be super loud. So I thought about getting some sushi because our grocery store has a really nice sushi section. That's hard to say, sushi section. So maybe I'll get some sushi or honestly, I could just like make a sandwich too. And then what out of all of these could I sell? I want to be able to separate these. There we go. Only sold one. And then you guys said to keep the sea jelly, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep one of the clams, so I think I need that for something in the community center. Okay. There we go. I feel like I can afford to sell these. They still have other copies in there. I'm also going to sell a bunch of leeks. I only need one for the community center. And then I think we're good now. I'm gonna sell these and then we'll save. Hi, I just woke up. Hello, Sophia, welcome in. You missed the sheer chaos earlier. So basically, um, we all know that I use Streamlabs and I scheduled a stream the other day for the first time. By scheduling, I mean like literally going into the calendar tab on there and then setting up the details for a live stream for today. That itself was smooth, that part was great, but then I started the actual stream, and then I was like done typing and whatnot, so I was like, okay, I need to go to my Just Chatting screen now. And then no matter how hard I tried, it would not let me close out of that screen, and I felt like I was losing my mind, and it was so aggravating that I just, 
turned that off and restarted the whole entire stream. So that was really fun. And then I was accidentally echoing it first on this one. Thankfully though, everybody spoke up as soon as they heard it and I fixed it. So we're all good now, but it was very chaotic earlier. <laughs> well, a wrap would be good too. The grocery store I shop at has like a good sushi section. It's also got a really nice deli section. It offers pre-made sandwiches and pre-made wraps, I believe. I could do any one of those. I feel like all of those would be decently quiet. Given, I'm not sure for like the lunch break part of my stream, if I'm just gonna eat on stream and talk to you guys, or if I'm gonna do what I did on one of my last streams. Basically for that stream, I um, put on the BRB screen and had some intermission music play while I simply just typed in the chat and we all had a nice conversation while I was having some lunch. I could honestly just do that again, but I'm still trying to find something that's like somewhat quiet just because on the chance that I do end up eating on camera, I want to make sure that it's not loud and annoying. So that just would be very icky to listen to. I mean, maybe some of you wouldn't be bothered by it, but I just feel like if it was me, I wouldn't want to listen to something super loud and crunchy and gross, you know? Oh my gosh, the scream one ends up finally be the star of the show. Literally, like, everybody, thankfully everyone was really nice and really patient, like, nobody made fun of me because I was stressed out. Um, but normally I feel like at the very most, I would have a starting soon screen on for like four minutes, and it ended up being on there for like 10 minutes because I just could not get the calendar tab to go away. But we're all good now. Sorry, I got something to a little to the left. No worries, take level from the stream. Oh, there was another thing, Sophia, actually. So you can't see her right now, but Luna is behind me, like behind my lower back. She popped up into my lap while I was talking to everyone and then had the sheer audacity to wiggle behind me and then push my squish ball that I use for a cushion out of the way with her head. And then like everybody would just like see it like move a little bit behind me. It was funny looking. I do have a bit more money now though, so I'm gonna get some more seeds. I already have a couple of cauliflowers planted today. I have parsnips planted. I do need some beans and I need some potatoes. So I don't have a ton of money. These tend to regrow repeatedly. So to be honest, I'm only gonna plant two of those for now and like two potato seeds. And then whenever I have more money later, I'll continue to plant other crops. Do you wanna be the Squishmallow? She really did. She just wants to be the star of the show today. While I'm over here, can I go into the Star Drop Saloon yet? I don't think so. I feel like it opens at like 12, right? Okay, yeah, it does. Speaking of being 12, I just noticed it's 12.15 here. I technically had a short that went up 15 minutes ago, but I need to link it in my server. So I'm just gonna do that really quick, but I have the volume off my phone, so nothing's gonna be blasted into y'all's ears, I promise. If it loads, this is. Please load. I don't have the time to wait for like 10 seconds. Okay, there we go. Sophia, I think you in particular might like the short. And I say that because it's about a specific game that you play. I'm almost done. Thank you for being so patient. I appreciate you guys. Here we go. It would have gone a little bit faster if my phone was loading, but it wasn't wanting to load. Get cauliflower, they give the most money. I have a couple of cauliflowers already. My character is just very broke, so I can't spend a ton on crops right away. I had to put socks on, my feet were cold. I always feel like I have to have at least socks on in the house. I mean, I do like to be barefoot a lot of the time, don't get me wrong. But even though, like, obviously, like, we clean, like, the house isn't disgusting. But despite that, I feel like stuff gets stuck to my feet anyways, and that feeling on the bottom of my foot makes me cringe and I hate having to constantly wipe my foot off when that happens so I try to remember to always have at least socks on or my house slippers okay, I'm gonna plant these and then go back to getting rid of the stuff that's all over my farm There we go. I've 
seen these shorts from you. The one from today had something to do with Roblox, and I know that you like Roblox, so that's why I was mentioning you. This is definitely just my opinion, but I feel like I don't care what anyone says, Roblox has, has a little something for everyone on there. Like, there's just an unbelievable amount of games to play on there. Like, I think that there's got to be at least one game on there that everybody would like. Like, each person has got to have at least one game for them on there, you know? <laughs> Look at that bush. Look how funny looking that is. It looks like the two wood logs right here are like little eyeballs sticking out of it. Life for. I've already been live for over an hour. What do you mean? I'm very energized this morning. I woke up at 7. Whenever I have earlier streams that start at like 10 or 11 a.m. my time, I try to wake up at 7 to make sure I have time to like fully wake myself up, eat, shower, put makeup on, etc. Um, but I actually fell asleep again after I woke up this morning and I just feel very energized today. Maybe it's the caffeine. Maybe it's the fact that I'm super hyped up about Stardew Valley. Maybe it's both. I don't know. Also, I'm not going to cut down every tree on this farm. I'm hoping to cut down a lot of them just because there's just so much debris everywhere. It's driving me crazy. Also, by the way, I'm going to type up a poll right now. But whenever I type this up, I want you guys to look at it and let me know what you think about this kind of poll. It'll make sense in a second when you see it. I just wanted to know if you like these kinds of polls or if, you, if you're okay with them or if you feel like it's annoying when people do this. Like, be honest about it. I'm curious. Also, the screen may have paused for a second while I did this. Don't worry about it. It'll fix itself in a moment. Almost done. Okay, just making sure I didn't put any typos. I'm just testing this out right now because I wanted to see what you guys think about this. So whenever a creator does a poll on their stream that's like, are you subscribed or have you liked the stream? Do you guys find that annoying or are you not bothered by it? I, I just, I'm curious. I wanted to know as the audience how you perceive that kind of poll. A book just fell out of a tree. Is this Animal Crossing? <laughs> so all kinds of crazy stuff falls out of the trees on Animal Crossing. I can't finish chopping that down because my hero is exhausted. But to be honest, I think I should leave some of these trees as stumps just because I feel like it's kind of cute. Like it's like a fashion statement, not fashion statement, but you know what I mean. I was making an essay for class and it was also called Serenity. I named my farm Serenity just because I feel like it's a very peaceful name. And I was telling everyone earlier that ever since I lost the progress on my perfection run farm, I mean, I've been sad about it, but I still really want to reach perfection at least once in my life. That book is called Woodcutters Weekly. I'm going to have to look at that. But I still really want to reach perfection at least once in my life. But I also don't want to rush it. Like, it'll happen when it happens, however long that takes. I want to enjoy this farm and take my time with it and not feel as rushed. So, whenever it happens is when it happens and it is what it is. I don't mind it. I'm usually subscribed and like streams and I watch them. I don't usually watch streams where I'm not subscribed. I feel like for me, like whenever I'm watching other people's streams and they and I see them do that same thing, honestly, I really don't mind it and I don't think it's a big deal. Like as long as you're like not wording it in a way that sounds really forceful and mean because that's not good. Like as long as you don't word it like that in a toxic way, then I feel like it's fine. Oh, okay, so the thing's gone now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. the book okay cool i will do that right now actually new things about foraging like what i'm covering this up just because i don't know 
what I want to do next with the crops and I'm hoping to be better about keeping the farm like aesthetic and like clean and organized looking and that includes cleaning these up whenever I'm done. Same as Tekla, I just don't like when people do it repetitively. I don't do it every stream. I do it sometimes, but not every stream. That, and then I feel like as long as it's not worded in a really rude way, then it's fine. Like, I feel like the way I did that was okay, right? Like, I, just, I did it in a very nice way. Oh, I want to get the trash can lid hat for my character. That was really random, but I remembered it. Basically, if you open and like, can rummage through enough trash cans in Stardew Valley, you can get a trash can lid as a hat. But the only thing is, it's only gonna work if you don't already have a hat on. Like, you can't wear a hat for it to work. Hello, Sebastian, welcome in. Ooh, okay, community center. You can tell by my little dance and like my vibe that you, that I just really like this game. I feel like those things that just happened, I should go back and get what I, act. Never mind, never mind. Scratch that, I was about to go back to get my stuff, then I remembered. I always forget about that part for some reason that you can't donate right away. You have to get the Junimo scroll read and deciphered by the wizard. I wasn't subscribed I wouldn't be here I feel like you've been around for a really long time Angel I feel like you've seen like a lot of my old Animal Crossing islands too you're so adorable Alexi thank you you guys want to know what this says though this actually fun fact this actually says Stardew Valley is the best game ever there you go. You know how earlier we were kind of talking a little bit about how there's certain games that maybe as much as like you were really excited for them, you lost interest quickly, right? Well, I was like that with Fae Farm actually, and part of me kind of misses it. It's apparently getting an update soon. But to be honest, I just, I'm gonna go the other way. But to be honest, I just don't even know if I'm gonna try it. I mean, maybe I will. It just sucks. I feel like I had so much excitement and hype built up for that game. And now I just kind of feel like it's very meh to me now. And I don't really know why I feel that way about it, but I just do. Does that make sense? That's a very long way to say Stardew was the best game ever. Not Stardew, I hate this. You guys have, you, I, we all know what autocorrect is, but have you seen the autofill feature on iPhone? Because I hate it. I feel like it's significantly worse than autocorrect. Because it always thinks it's so right about what I'm trying to type, and it's usually not, and then it won't let me backspace it. Like I'll repeatedly try to backspace it, and it just will not let me. Like, respectfully, you're not correct on what you think I'm typing. Just let me type what I want to type, please. And I'm kind of thinking about it. I know a lot of people who are playing the update did their new farm with the Meadowlands farm which is totally understandable. Like that's why I did it too, because I was excited and I wanted to try it. But I wonder if anybody made their new farm on literally any of the other maps. Like I feel like I don't see the beach farm used a whole lot and it's probably because it has sand instead of like soil and grass and whatnot. But like, I like the beach farm. I think it's cool. And what's nice about it is a lot of the fish that are like ocean only fishes, you can catch those at the ocean on your farm. At least I'm pretty sure you can, because I feel like I remember doing that with my old beach farm. That took a while. I 
forget how awful the first sword is. It's so bad. Beach farm gives you free food and fertilizer. I like the beach farm. I feel like it's really underrated. I hate that too. Like, you're not the boss of me. Don't make me capitalize my sentences if I'm not writing an essay. Literally, like, why does it care so much? Like, also, if smartphones are so smart, why can't it realize that clearly if I'm trying to backspace the autofill it's giving me, then that means that that's not what I want to type. Like, if you're so smart, iPhone, why don't you realize that? That's what I want to know. Also, I am going to get rid of this plain daffodil because I'd rather have that cape carrot. I'm on level three right now. I want to at least get to level five before I leave. I'll probably get farther than that, but definitely I don't want to leave unless I absolutely have to. Unrelated, but the icon that the game has for the copper ore looks like chicken nuggets. I hate looking for clay at the beginning. Me too. Me too. A lot of you here are probably already subscribed to this person because uh, I talk about her a lot. I am going to give a quick little shout out to my good friend Fairy Queens just because she is actually incredibly close to 100,000 subscribers, which is crazy. Oh my goodness. But she is so sweet. She's very silly, she's beautiful. She makes really great content and she works really hard. And if you're interested in things like little TV show type things on YouTube, or if you like Wizard 101, she's working on her own Wizard 101 themed TV show. And it's called Ravenwood Rising. It's not out yet, but it will be soon. And so I just wanted to give her a little shout out. I'm very proud of her and how hard she works and how far she's come in general on YouTube. So happy almost 100K, Ashton, because that's crazy. But thank you for subscribing to her. She definitely has really fun content. She plays like a handful of different games um, and is very silly chaotic, but like in a funny way. In fact, if you ever decide to go to any of her streams, you'll probably see me there. It's almost, it's almost 4 p.m. in the game and I have like no energy, so I'm just gonna leave. But at least I got to level five because that was what I wanted to do. Just means I accomplished my goal. Oh, Sophia, while I know that you're here, by the way, I wanted to ask you something very specific, but have you played the game on Roblox called Dress to Impress? Because I saw Ash playing that and it made me want to play it. It looks really fun. Here, we're gonna take a headache pill and get some water. No worries, take your time. Wait, actually, this gives me 30 energy and 13 health. To be honest, I'm actually gonna eat this now and then use that bit of energy that it gives me to clear a bit more of the debris. I mean, it didn't give me a ton, but it gave me a little bit. These little logs everywhere are going to make me lose my mind, so I'm going to focus on those. Plus, they're just one hit each. My pockets are full, so maybe I should empty those and then go pick up the wood. The game is so strange. Oh, hey, I'm back. Welcome back, BK. Yes, I love Dress to Impress. There's new codes from YouTubers, and no one else uses them, so I always win. I watched her play, and it just seemed like low energy in the sense of, like, it didn't require, like, a lot of thinking, and it was just, like, a fun, casual game to play. Like, I definitely want to try that at some point. Whether that's on stream or just by myself, I don't know. And I love the animations. Okay, I'm gonna get water on the headache pill. No, you're fine, Sophia. If you wanna lurk because your head hurts, I understand. I would keep hitting this tree, but I'm probably gonna pass out. So let's put my stuff away. I 
I'm so glad that I was able to make the Stardew stream work though, because I was so scared about this. I don't know if, how many of you have heard me talk about it before, but for some reason, some PC games, especially Fay Farm and PC Stardew Valley, I leveled up in so many categories. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, whenever I stream those PC, specific PC games, sometimes whenever I click back and forth between the monitors, it'll like freeze up where like I can see all the movement and, and game activity on my end. But for some reason, it'll freeze for you guys where you can't see it. And I was really worried it wasn't going to work, but thankfully it seems to have worked out. So I'm very grateful for that. I miss playing games with my cousin and sister. I'm sorry, BK. Well, part of the stream tomorrow actually is going to be Roblox with viewers. I haven't done Roblox with viewers before, aside from whenever I did my um, obstacle course stream and I had a couple of people join the lobby that I was in. If that counts as with viewers, but that was only like one time. I have to go talk to the wizard today, so let me water my crops and then I'll go talk to them. It's already really irritating me that I don't have some water closer to where I was standing, so as soon as I possibly can, I'm no doubt getting that well built. And it would help if there weren't so many blockages on my farm still. Dress to impress with viewers, that would be fun. By the way, you know what I really wish Stardew Valley had? And hear me out, I really wish it had cloud saves. So like I have played it on PC and on Switch, and it's the only platforms that I've tried it on. I just really wish that there were cloud saves so that way whatever I save and do on my computer, I can pick it back up later on my Switch if I wanted to. Like I would be thrilled if that was a thing. all this taken care of. Let me just make sure that my chickens are fed and then I'm gonna go talk to the wizard. I actually haven't had to give them any hay really because there's been all of this hay right here. There's this and then the blue grass that they like. This new map, or farm technically, is such a game changer. Like, I'm definitely willing to sacrifice some of the extra farming space to have the free chickens and coop because that is stuff that you seriously have to save a bunch of extra money and resources for to have it created, to buy it, etc. Like, it is just so nice to start out with it. Like, that's gonna be a huge help in the long run, if you ask me. level in a hat in time. I've heard about that, but I don't know what you do in the game. I need to get up and stretch my computer chair. It kind of hurts my back. Unrelated, but there's 511 million days, 11 hours, 24 minutes, and 11 seconds until the world ends. Well, um, that's scary. <laughs> Wait, why am I in here? This is not where I meant to go. I didn't think about that. I really have to pee, actually, but I am so into the game right now, I cannot bring myself to get up and go to the bathroom. You know what I should have done? I should have grabbed everything I was going to donate to take it with me to the wizard, and then I could just go immediately to the community center afterwards. And now I have to walk back through all of that debris just to do it. Another thing, I've been skipping through a lot of the cutscenes today, but I want to play this one just because I feel like this one when you first meet the wizard is so iconic because for him to help you to be able to translate the Junimo scrolls, he does like this ritual type situation. I like, I used to joke that it looked like we were on a mushroom trip <laughs> just because of the way that it looks like. If you've never seen it before, I promise what I just said will make sense in a second. Just watch. Oh, 
Also, hey, I unmuted desktop audio, right? Like, y'all can hear the game. Because imagine if I was streaming for this long and I didn't know that y'all couldn't hear. I would be horrified. Oh, then yeah, literally none of us are going to be here for that, Sophia. I once heavily considered getting a Junimo tattoo and if for some reason I do ever get a Stardew Valley tattoo it probably still will be a Junimo because I don't know what else it would be the funny part of it hasn't even happened yet to be honest I'm just like trying to click through a little slower so if anybody hasn't seen this before then you can see it I did include this to an extent in my 50 days of Stardew Valley video, but it was sped up a lot, so you couldn't really like focus on it and really look at it. I said, that I said that Stardew Valley was the best game ever, but it actually says, we at the Junimo are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. They're just cute little, cute little creatures that want some help. That's all. I remember I was watching a streamer play this and they went through this and said, you shouldn't have drank the potion. Now you got, <laughs> wait, I don't know what that part in the parentheses says. Sniff, sniff. Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. This is the part that I wanted you guys to watch, especially if you haven't seen it before. Because I just used to always joke that it was like a trip of some sort. Wait for it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> This imagery right here is what my body feels like whenever I have a stomach bug and I'm really nauseous and I can't stop throwing up. That probably won't make any sense to any of you, but it does to me. Look at mod chat, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I understand what that means now. But it was definitely a good idea to censor that in a different way, just because I don't... Okay, let me, break, let me make it more simplified. I don't censor myself as much as I used to, just because I have, in a way, rebranded myself recently. However, I still do have to be careful sometimes about certain things, just so that way YouTube doesn't yell at me. Because if I'm not careful enough, I can, fun fact, get my streams demonetized. And that's part of my income, so let's not do that. <laughs> Makes sense to me since I got stomach bug once. Okay, this is gonna be very gross, so a heads up. But one one time I had a stomach bug that was so severe, I was nonstop vomiting and the other thing on the other end constantly. <laughs> and it, it was nonstop for hours, and I almost passed out because of fluid loss. That was fun. I'm also going to rearrange my pockets a bit really quick. Now let's grab everything I have to donate. This 
And I'm pretty sure once I have put those in, it's gonna unlock the fishing area for me. So I'm gonna actually can't grab these side no room. Never mind, I'll come back for them. Hold on one moment, besties. Some bugs are the worst. They really are. I was talking to Ben the other day and hear me out, but I feel like this would be the worst thing ever. But imagine if you somehow caught both COVID and a stomach bug at the same time. Like that sounds like nightmare fuel, if you ask me. That sounds horrible. I'm sorry that happened to you. Thankfully, I ended up recovering just fine. I don't even know. Actually, no, I do know how I got it. Um, I had, but right before I got sick, I went to a family gathering for Thanksgiving. And not only did I eat deviled eggs that were sitting out longer than they should have, like they were starting to get bacteria and whatnot, if you get me. But also somebody who was there had a stomach bug and didn't tell anybody. So those two things being around that person and eating the old eggs made me have a super severe stomach bug. But I was okay. It was just like low key, like kind of traumatizing. I'm not gonna lie. That would be a painful experience. It truly would be. Also, this will only apply like if you've had COVID like at least twice. I've had it multiple times because I'm to an extent immunocompromised, so I'm kind of prone to getting it. But do you feel like every time that you get COVID, I feel like symptoms get worse. Like the first time that I had it, it wasn't too bad. I was just really, really, really sleepy a lot of the time and I had a bad headache, but not like a severe one, just like a kind of bad one. But I feel like every time that I've gotten COVID, it just gets worse and worse and worse, symptoms wise. That's definitely one heck of a party gag. Oh, thank you for being a member for four months. I appreciate you. Welcome in, Classy. Can one of the mods get a link for a Classy Cozy Gamer, please? I don't know why I paused for a second, but welcome in. I'm gonna plant these seeds and then I'm gonna go over and bring those fish to the community center. And it gave me 30 of these, right? Okay. Hi everyone, how are you enjoying the update? I'm really liking it. It's really fun to me. We did have um, a couple of hiccups tech-wise earlier, but thankfully it's all fixed now, so it's all good. But I'm not gonna lie, it did really stress me out. It's, I don't know if I can speak for anybody else here, but have you ever had, for whatever reason, from whatever you were doing, had tech issues happen? And it was just extra overwhelming because maybe you feel like you're not very savvy in tech. Cause like, despite being a content creator, I'm not gonna lie, when it comes to like the nitty gritty with certain details on Streamlabs, I, really don't always understand it. So I get especially overwhelmed really easily, but it's all good now. I just was curious if anybody else feels like they get easily overwhelmed by technology. I hope you enjoy your lurk, BK. Did you ever beat me to it? Yeah, thank you for getting the link, by the way. While you guys are chilling, I'm gonna be making stocks in Genshin Impact. No worries, I hope you enjoy your lurk and I hope you have fun. What just happened? I just heard my computer make a noise. Did I kick something? Can y'all let me know if my stream is okay? <laughs> Cause I just, I just kicked something and I wanna make sure that I didn't screw up the stream. So please let me know if everything's fine. <laughs> I was playing a lot of off screen this week but I can't wait to play this tonight. I can't wait until it's on Switch. That, and I was telling everybody earlier, I would really love if someday, if Concerned Ape decides to, cause it's technically his choice. Um, I would love if he integrated cloud save somehow, because could you imagine being able to like, maybe maybe you're streaming or making a video of something on your farm, and then later you decide that you want to play on your Switch instead when you're in bed, and then you can just like do the cloud save and have exactly what you had on your computer be on your Switch too. Like that would just be so nice. I would love that.
Okay, what else do I need to do? It's almost five in the game. I just play oh yeah, I need to go get the fish. I'm glad I remembered. I can't put this one too, so I'm gonna put that back. Actually, no, we'll do that one instead. I'm also gonna put this away just so that way I can grab this one too. And then for the mussel in the clamshell, I know that both of those are required too, but I don't know if I have that bundle even unlocked yet, so I'm not gonna grab them anymore. I felt like I had talked off a lot of my tinted chapsticks, so I had to get more. Does anybody happen to know how many times you have to rummage through the trash cans in Stardew to get the trash can lid hat? I really want it for my character. And then for the anchovy and the chub, I swear I needed them for something here, but I guess not. Oh wait, I do have access to it. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back to this then. By the way, please be sure to like the live stream if you have not already. Liking the stream is completely free and a super easy way to support me. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all being here. I'm literally gonna go all the way back just so I can donate those. Wait, oh, there it is. Okay. I thought it was gonna be side by side with the clamshell, so when I didn't see it right away, I was like, where is it? Can somebody let me know in chat really quickly? Um, that you can hear me and see me good and everything because I accidentally kicked something under my desk with my setup and I was worried that I messed something up so can somebody let me know really quickly if everything's okay on your end. I can hear and see you. Stream looks good. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. And if you do hear or see an issue, please feel free to speak up. Okay, I will be really fast, but I have to go to the bathroom really bad, so just hold on a second. I'll be back, though.
Okay, I'm back. Thank you for waiting. I appreciate it. <laughs> I don't know if y'all were able to see her, but Luna hopped down. I sat up and then she was like, wait, where are you going? Because she was like all cozied up between the back of my chair and my Squishmallow. That was fast. I tried to be fast. I didn't want to keep anybody waiting. I just really had to be. <laughs> Oh, and I want to go talk to Robin today in the game and see what it's going to cost me for that well, because I'm very aggravated walking all the way over here just to go to the lake. I know I technically don't have to get the well, I just want it. And plus, I feel like it's like very pretty. It's very aesthetically pleasing to look at, in my opinion. Especially if it's placed well. In fact, look at this little circle right here. If the game lets me, I want to put it like right there. I feel like that'd be cool. on stream yet, but I mentioned it a little bit whenever I was talking on Discord about whenever I reached 4K, but I, I found out about it in like a, such like a funny, casual way. Basically, I had just woken up and I am currently learning Japanese on Duolingo, so like I said, just do my lesson really quick, just because I have mine set up where they're only five minutes long, because my attention span can low-key be, low be kind of short sometimes. Um, so just doing my quick lesson, and then as soon as it was done, I opened up YouTube Studio because I wanted to see if I had gotten any closer to 4K. And as soon as I had refreshed that, it jumped to 4K, and it was just such a funny way to find out. Like, do my Duolingo lesson, go check, oh, I reached 4K. <laughs> it would enjoy your lurk, Max. I need to get ready for the dinner. No worries, hope you enjoy your lurk. I'm just gonna go see what Robin says. I'm trying to, I'm still trying to keep things a surprise for me with the update as much as I can. But now that I've had a chance to play it for myself, I'm gonna be really tempted to watch other people play and finally watch their streams. So hopefully that doesn't spoil anything for me, but realistically, it's probably gonna end up happening eventually. Okay, it's not that bad. It's only a thousand gold and 75 stones. So I'm gonna work on saving up the money for it. And I feel like I should realistically get the backpack upgrade first, but I'm sorry, that's gonna really, really, really bother me <laughs> with going to the lake if I don't. So I'm gonna get the well first and then the backpack upgrade. My goal right now is to just try and catch a handful of fish that I already have technically caught before, so that way I can afford to sell those ones more. And I'll use that for money. And then maybe tomorrow in the game, I'll go and uh, go to the mines again. Try to get to level 10, maybe, because I got to level 5 last time. even better because I've already caught that one and it's a silver star one. It's better quality. River jelly. Okay. I know Meg's told me to keep the sea jelly. Don't sell it or anything and just keep it in a stack so that way I can use it later. I still don't know what the jelly is for but I know now that it's important so I will keep that too. <laughs> I was starting to sing the Jeopardy music and then it just gave me a piece of driftwood. Like you couldn't have even give me like a plain type of fish. 
You want to give me driftwood? I need them for some sort of machine. Okay. Don't tell me anything else, though, because I want to keep it a surprise. For as long as I can, that is. I know eventually I'm probably going to get something spoiled for me. Ooh, okay. I haven't had any geodes yet. figure it out. Imagine if somehow miraculously on my first try I got a, like a. Tell me why I almost said iridium shard instead of prismatic shard. Honestly, though, I'll take it because sometimes it's annoying trying to gather extra copper ore and coal, so I'll take it. I feel like that's pretty good. trash cans they can right now just to rummage through them. I want to get that lid hat. I don't know how many times you have to do it though for it to work. I just know that you can do it if you try it enough times. dug to the trash cans in Stardew and then right as you're doing it outside of a building somebody walks right next to you or walks out of the building and they're like oh my gosh you what are you doing because I've done that and I know it's just a video game but there's just something about that that's so unbelievably embarrassing and then I think I've decided I'm gonna work some more on clearing the debris right now I've gotten pretty good about clearing it near where my house is but there's a bunch down here that's also very annoying I'm gonna try and spare a really good amount of this fiber but inevitably i'm gonna have to get rid of at least some of it because there's still too much like i have to have room for other things but i want to save some for the chicken or i guess actually what do you guys think that i should do because 
even if you don't play Stardew Valley, basically all this fiber right here, if you leave some of it there and you let your chickens roam around, they can eat that. And so can your cows if you get cows. But if you look right up here, they've already got their own enclosed area that has some. So do we think that I should just go ahead and get rid of everything else that's not in their enclosed area? Or should I still keep some? What do you guys think? I was picking out what I'm going to wear. I'm debating on a pale teal shirt and gray leggings or a burgundy shirt. Um, I like the idea of the pale teal shirt. I feel like that sounds pretty. my scythe at first I was like did I actually sell that I would be so mad <laughs> does the game even let you sell your tools update on Nintendo. I am so sorry, but welcome in Amber on pause and welcome to the stream. I was just telling everybody that I am so excited for it to be out on Switch because as of lately for me, a lot of the games that I've been playing and or streaming have been on my computer, but at heart, I truly do love playing Stardew Valley on my Switch. I just find it very appealing personally, but I also would really love for Concerned Ape to make some kind of cloud save setup, kind of like what Disney Dreamlight Valley has where no matter which of your platforms that you're playing on, as long as you have it purchased on both platforms, um, you can have it cross save and have the cloud save set up. Like, I just feel like that would be so nice for Stardew Valley. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that would like that. Like, I feel like a lot of other people would like that too. I don't have anything else except for my Switch, so I'll be waiting. I'm so sorry. I hope it gets out really soon. I feel like aside from PC, I feel like a very large portion of the fan base is on Switch as well. Because so many people have Switches. And I feel like for me, the more I think about it, maybe the reason why I find it so appealing to play on Switch is because that's where I first had it. I got it when I was, um, when I turned 18 on my Switch, it was a present that I had. And I only, I think a few years in, started to play it a little bit on my computer too. And it was only because I wanted to try out using mods. And despite that, I still, for some reason, prefer vanilla Stardew Valley on my Switch. And I don't know why. Mods can be fun, but I feel like the reason I don't play them as often is I find it really aggravating having to update them every now and then. Like, installing them was already a huge pain. Like, I don't want to have to go and update them too. So what can I sell in here? Not a lot, but it's something. I also can't remember at what point um, what's the, not the night market. Traveling cart, I don't know why I couldn't think of that for a second, but I don't remember when the traveling cart is supposed to start happening, but it was just a Sunday night, so now it's Monday, and I'm pretty sure the traveling cart shows up on Sundays, and I was like kind of sad when I couldn't find it. I almost have enough money for the well though. I cannot wait to get that. I'm. So excited for it. 
And I guess technically I can be selling the eggs too, but I'm trying to let the eggs build up in my storage. Just that way whenever I eventually have a mayonnaise machine made, I have a ton of eggs readied up to load up into mayonnaise, and then I can sell that for a higher profit. Just because I'm pretty sure they sell at least a little bit more than just a plain old egg does. I am from Indonesia. Hello, welcome to the stream. Do you have a name or like a nickname that I can call you? Yes, my Bowie hoodie arrives soon. Hello, Horror Fresh Ghost, welcome to the stream. Are you excited? Speaking of hoodies and like clothing in general and whatnot, I may or may not be working on some new merch designs. We'll see. him a lot. If Bowie was iconic, truly. Did I already water these? I guess I did. Sometimes the colored the color of the watered soil I feel like looks really similar to the dry soil still. So then I can't tell. All oh, that's taken care of. And what was the other thing I was gonna do? I feel like I can't remember. work on in the game. Have you heard of Starman's Roblox channel? They do Roblox um, Roblox drama. I have not actually, but I'll go look at it. I've started to look like, here and there showcase Roblox on my channel. I played it a lot when I was younger and then like kind of stopped for a while and I've picked it back up again recently and I've really been enjoying it. It's been fun. I was telling everybody earlier that I swear, I feel like because of how many games are available on Roblox, I feel like there's got to be at least one game on there, at least one that every person would be able to enjoy. Like, there's gotta be a little something for everybody, you know? I'm gonna get some of the fruit treats eventually too, but that's gonna be expensive. so it's gonna take up a lot of my money. However, fully grown cauliflowers are worth a lot. So that just took away a good chunk of my gold, but it's okay, I'll get it back soon. Plus I did plant a bunch of those free spring seeds that I got and once those are fully grown, that'll give me a lot of money too. So we will be reimbursed in probably a couple of days. What's the objective of this game? So in the game, you inherit your um, late grandfather's farm and you clean it up, you fix it up. Aside from farming, there's also things like fishing, you can go mining, you can talk to and befriend and romance all the characters. There's various events and holidays that you can do. And then if you complete the, this thing that's called the community center, you can also unlock a whole other area to go to that's called Ginger Island. It's super cool. The game also has a ton of really specific lore and theories behind it if you look into it, but that part is a lot harder to explain. Game of Bowie really helped me find my identity because of how he dressed and all. Roblox is amazing. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I just aged a little bit as I'm about to ask this, but I don't know what TBF stands for. <laughs> I play it every day, especially a game on there called Dragonblade. It's relaxing except from the monsters. There's this really specific game on there that I finally got to play, start playing again recently. And I'm saying it like that because for a while, for some reason, the creator just would not update the game. And I guess maybe it's just because they didn't play anymore. But it was called Build to Survive the Zombies. And there was a handful of different kinds of zombies on there. And every now and then, like a timer would go off. And once the timer would go off for a short while, I think for like a minute or so, the zombies would roam around and have to like try to avoid them so they wouldn't kill you or anything. And you'd build some sort of base to protect yourself. And that game was like my favorite. And I was so sad because for years they wouldn't update it. And it was too glitchy to play. But thankfully, it's all fixed up now and you can play. The only thing is, is that they changed up some of the zombies, so they're different from how they used to be. But it's still really fun. I couldn't see what was behind that, and it was literally just grass. 
Just some grass, nothing else. Oh, to be fair, okay, thank you. Also, thank you for not making me feel bad about not knowing. Because sometimes I've had interactions with people on my own live streams where I'll like, ask an innocent question like that because I don't know any better about whatever it is that we're talking about. And then they're like, un like unnecessarily snarky or mean in response. Like, if somebody doesn't know about something and they're asking politely for you to help them and explain it, there's no need to be rude. Even if for some reason you choose not to help them, there's still no need to respond in an nasty way, you know? Like, there's a chance that person already feels embarrassed. You don't need to be rude to them. You know what I mean? It's gonna take me so long to get this farm cleared, I swear. with all this, I'll have enough spare wood to be able to fix the bridge on the beach. Especially if they hide in the middle of the grass patches and you can't see it. Then you're like, why can't I walk anywhere? It's because there's just a random log in the way. Fun game for my fasting in Ramadan. Wait, have you tried Stardew Valley? You should. I will say, the update that came out recently is unfortunately only currently available on PC. However, the creator has stated that it will be spread to other platforms. It's just going to take some time. PC takes priority, but the other platforms will get the update as well. Additionally, if you are a Nintendo Switch player and you want to get Stardew Valley on your Switch, um, again, the update's not there yet. However, Stardew Valley is notably a lot cheaper compared to a lot of other Switch games. So if you need something that's going to be affordable, Stardew Valley is honestly the way to go. Unless you just don't like farm sims, then never mind. Because that wouldn't apply anymore. I ran out of energy, so I can't keep clearing that stuff off my farm. I actually, let's see, how much wood do I have? If I have enough, I'm gonna go fix that bridge. I do not, but I almost have enough. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go around and say hi to the characters again, because I'm still pretty bad about remembering to talk to them, and I really want to be better about it this time around. I was texting my friend, and she was like, what Avatar movie are you watching? I said, the first one, she said, Effie, and I was like, what does Effie mean? And she called me a doofus. I wish you could get mods on Nintendo. I see these people with expanded mod and I wish I could have it. Nintendo is just like stinky about it. They don't like whenever people do mods. Like they will full on like, I think like brick your switch or like ban you from certain activities and features just because you tried to use mods. Um, and yeah, I do agree. That is, that is kind of mean. Like if somebody asks nicely for you to explain something like that, like maybe it's because they haven't heard it before or they're confused and they don't understand. Like there is never, a any valid reason to be snarky about it. Even if you don't help them, you still should at least have some basic manners. I want the trash can lid hat so bad. I would dig through this one too, but there, he's definitely gonna see and think I'm disgusting for it, so. Alex, if you could like move out of the way so I can peacefully rummage through this trash can, that'd be great. Oh, wait, there's Shane. I haven't talked to Shane yet. Come here, bestie Shane. Bestie Shane, come here, please. Hello. If you go about right here, there's somewhere on the side where it's like if you walk along it, you can go in. There it is, right there. And then there's a chest back here that you can open. Or like some kind of box. If 
I don't remember how you get to what's in it, because I swear there's something inside that you can have. I'm gonna have to come back for that later, because I can't remember how you open it, but I swear there's something in there that you can open. Funny story, I used to date this guy and he called me a furry in my comments for wearing a mask. My mom said to him, hello, this is Amber's mom. Stop these comments or help you at your door. I just feel like furries get so much hate for literally no reason. Like not to go on a tangent or anything, but one, furries are unbelievably creative and very talented, usually very friendly people from what I've seen. They're very accepting and loving pe people from all different backgrounds. And like the level of creativity and effort that it takes to make the outfits that they use is so like difficult. Like I'm amazed by it. And it's such a shame that I feel like furries just get so much hate for literally no reason. And plus like you're not hurting anybody by being a furry. Like why, why do you care so much what somebody else is doing with their time? If they're a furry, cool, that doesn't affect you. Be nice, it costs you nothing to have manners. Oh, I am, I'm from Texas. Um, I will also mention that I'm from Houston, but that's as far as I'm gonna mention because Houston is a very large city. I don't wanna go any specific, any more specific than that, just purely for privacy reasons. Um, if it was a smaller city, I wouldn't say that, but because it's so large, I don't really mind. Nobody knows everything, so there's no need to be rude. If somebody asks you what something is or means, it's how we all learn, absolutely. Absolutely, I agree. I agree, furries get so much hate. We haven't done anything. By the way, that chest thing, I think you put some type of mayo or something in it and it gives you a statue. Thank you, that's what I was thinking. It was like, I swear, I knew there was something about it where you could get something out of it, but I couldn't remember what it was. And welcome back, Megs. I feel the same way with my city. There are millions of people here and I don't use my real name. Yeah, I really don't mind mentioning what state and city I'm from, just because both the state and city are rather large. <laughs> but if they were smaller, I definitely would not have mentioned that. With that said, friends, while I'm mentioning that, reminder that if you are under the age of 18, please, please, please do not talk about where you're from or anything specific that could hint at where you're from or possibly hint at how old you are, just for safety reasons. Not everybody has good intentions online. Some people are very, very icky and very scary and mean. So please protect your privacy. And then if you are at the very least 18, you are permitted to discuss your age and where you're from on my channel if you'd like to, but you do not have to. Please just remember, I would prefer if you're at least 18 to do that because if I catch you doing it under the age of 18, I'm gonna have to remove that. I don't mean that in a mean way. I mean that in I want to protect you guys and keep you safe type of way. Uh, there are almost a million people in my city. You already have a lover? Yes, I'm engaged actually. I don't want to say what it is yet just because like it's something for the fun stream tomorrow it has to do with one of the donation incentives actually but i went to walmart the other day to get something for the stream and i want to preface that it also was not an adult beverage of sorts it was not that but i randomly like had this notification at self-checkout that was like please wait for an associate and i was like oh my gosh did i do something did i break it did i do something wrong i was scared and the lady went up to me and said that the reason it stopped me was because one of the items was age restricted and i didn't know and she was like, it only did that to you because it sensed on the camera that you look really young for your age. She had to pull out my ID to verify that I'm as old as I am. She was like, yeah, you just look really young. So don't be surprised if our machine does that to you again. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> there There's carrots in Stardew now? I mean, I know we had cave carrots, but that's not the same as normal carrots. Wait, what does that say? It says, Plant in the spring takes three days to grow. I'm doing that right now. The 
know you can get the iridium probos with that good fishing rod you can do this glitch on every device just walk to where it is and use your fishing rod that's how i got it on my second day i did not know that but to be honest my memory is very doo doo so i'm probably going to forget but thank you for sharing that with me anyways <laughs> i appreciate it i just know realistically i'm probably gonna forget <gasps> no i broke my cauliflower I did not mean to do that. I'm so mad. Oh, it's been another way. He's good. Yeah, it's a new veggie. I'm excited about that, though. I feel like this should have been in the game from the start, to be honest. Can you move away from the camera a little? Oh, uh, why? My hand is itchy. I think they're doing the yoga thing. I swear there's some sort of yoga class that happens. I'm gonna wait right here because I swear there's some sort of yoga class that happens. Or maybe it's not yoga. I don't know what it is, but there's some kind of something they all do as a group together. And yes, I agree with Tekla. I appreciate the compliments. I really do. But I am starting to get a little bit uncomfortable now. If we could please chill on that, please and thank you. Oh, on a super different note that literally nobody asked about, but I'm going to tell you anyways. Uh, I've talked about it a few times before, but starting from literally early childhood up until like my current adult age, I always had a really bad habit whenever I got really stressed out or really anxious where I would sit there and I would like not bite my nails, but I would like pick at the skin on my fingers. And I know it was, it's really bad for you, but I could not stop doing it. I had the worst habit ever. But finally, my finger skin is fully healed. It's not wounded and unhealthy anymore. Given I do have to lotion my hands regularly because my finger skin does dry out really easily. But it's healed now, and this is the longest my nails have ever been in a really long time naturally, with my skin not being so messed up. Okay, it's not yoga, but I knew it was some kind of exercise class. I know they're all busy, so they can't really talk to me, but I'm going to click the talking thing anyways. Congrats on that. Thank you. It was genuinely really, 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 really hard for me to stop doing that, but I managed somehow and I'm just, I'm very proud of myself. I didn't realize, but I've already been streaming for like two hours. Let me just pause for a sec and then check how long I've been live for exactly through Streamlabs. Okay. We're good. I'm gonna go for a little bit longer and then I've gotta wrap it up because I do need to go eat lunch and then there's like a handful of miscellaneous things I've gotta work on slash do. I bite my nails, but I got kid nail varnish which peels off because it doesn't have the same stuff as normal nail polish and it's helping kind of. The thing that I feel like really helps me a lot was repetitively like day in and day out constantly putting some sort of hand cream or lotion all over my hands because if my hands were slippery enough and had lotion on them, not only could I not like pick at the skin because it would be so slippery, but there was no way that I could use my teeth either because I was gonna end up eating the lotion and that's toxic for a human, you can't eat that. Um, so it made it where I, it, there was no way that I could mess with it while it was trying to heal. So I feel like that sounds like kind of basic advice, but I swear if you do it often enough and you're very, like diligent about constantly putting it on, it should help. Okay, 
I'm going here a little bit late in the day, but hopefully I can make it work and we can get to level 10, because that'd be great. I'm doing Bullet Bill only Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I haven't played Mario Kart in a while. most hand cream it gives me eczema it does have you tried one that's called eucerin i feel like nobody talks about eucerin but i feel like that one seems relatively gentle i've used it before it was an unscented one that seemed really nice is it like the fragrance that you feel like gives you issues or is it just like hand creams and lotions in general that have certain ingredients i mean i'm not a dermatologist by any means so i can't speak on that too too much with accuracy I feel like if I had to guess, it's probably the, the fragrance. But again, that's just a guess. Definitely correct me if I'm wrong. And yeah, you can romance characters in the game. So for example, if you're playing on a solo farm, you can romance and marry any of the dateable characters. And then if you're on a co-op farm with somebody else, you can also marry that character. Like whenever Ben and I played co-op, um, that's what we did. Okay, I'm gonna have to get rid of something so we can pick up that crystal. I feel like because whenever you go mining, you get so much stone, I'm gonna just get rid of that, to be honest. I'm not even stressed at all about getting that back. Like, I just feel like getting stone back is one of the easiest types of crafting materials to farm slash gather. water and stuff put on nail polish you might be allergic to lanolin i am i've never heard of a lanolin allergy and speaking of that that reminds me that uh, this was from my mother-in-law so she let me use hers but she had this hand cream lotion that was honestly it's actually i mean it was a lotion technically but it was honestly just like felt like pure lanolin i don't have an allergy for it so what i did if i felt like i was especially tempted to mess with my fingers i would put a little bit on each finger and like let it sit there because it was so like oily and sticky that there was no way that i could do anything to my hands when i had it on and i found it for me very very healing for my hands i can't get to level 10 because my energy is too low sadly or actually i have a possible loophole possible loophole hold on i dropped the crystal so i could eat the cave carrot i'm also very sensitive to wool same take love because I'm autistic. I'm autistic too. Wait, is that is that a typo for lanolin or is that a different word? It's one that they use for breastfeeding moms to keep their skin from cracking. I heard that that's a thing, and honestly, I like obviously cannot speak from experience because I do not have children. But just thinking about that sounds like unbearably uncomfortable. If you've ever experienced that from being a breastfeeding parent, I am so sorry. have to get rid of something because I don't want to pass up on that topaz either. You know, I didn't want to pass up on the quartz at first, but the quartz is a lot easier to find. It spawns a lot more frequently than I feel like the topaz does. So as much as it sucks, I'm just going to get rid of the quartz. my energy is still low, but it's okay. At least I tried. I'm just a good way to get a chain of bullet bills and make me scream like Homer Simpson. <laughs> Lanisil is a brand of lanolin cream. Gotcha. I didn't know if it was like a typo or if it was a different word. 
My mom struggles to get me clothes because I can't deal with certain materials. No, I get that. I really do. I was just telling everybody earlier that I had a really exciting moment, so I can't speak for you in anything in particular that you feel like um, that you struggle with. For me, a really common problem that I have is I cannot stand specific textures with certain foods. Like it's just it's overstimulating for me. I can't deal. I, just, I can't. And one of the biggest problems that I run into is the texture with beef and like burger patties. Like I'm some of them I will eat because the texture is okay to me, but a lot of them I won't because I just hate it so much. But I tried something new the other day. I had a cheeseburger from In-N-Out for the first time. And to be honest, the texture from that was totally fine. I had no problems with it. And it was exciting because that meant that I would be able to eat from there and not have to worry about what I was going to order off of the menu. So that was just really nice. My son is autistic. I buy a lot of his clothes at H&M because they have very soft clothing and have a lot of pull-on clothes. I also heard that sometimes if your child is autistic and they didn't have, I don't think they had this whenever I was a kid, but if your child is autistic and they specifically have issues related to overstimulation with certain fabrics, that you can get something that has like little magnets that are easy to just pull apart so that way the child can learn to dress themselves um, and you can easily dress them without having to struggle as much taking the clothes on and off. And I feel like that's just really nice. I'm also gonna go ahead and end the poll. I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. However, I would love to go ahead and raid somebody. But reminder, by the way, tomorrow is my 4K celebration live stream. It will be starting at 11 a.m. Central. It'll be lasting for about seven hours or so. There's gonna be a handful of games that we play. If you have any questions about that, I have a post about it in my community tab and in the updates channel on my Discord server. I'm trying to see who's live so I can find someone to raid. There we go, okay. I know the perfect stream to raid. I'm just waiting for the chat to pop up so I can get their link. Okay, cool. So, I'm just making sure that there's no subscribers only mode on to make sure that you guys can. Okay, cool, we're good, we're good. So I would love for us to raid Jade Miss Gaming. She is currently streaming Fay Farm, another fun, cozy game, and she's actually doing a giveaway of some keys for Fay Farm, I believe. So I think that's gonna be really fun. I'm waiting for my chat to go up so I can link it for you guys. All right, cool. Thank you so much for waiting, by the way. I appreciate it. Yes, so tomorrow's stream, one last reminder, it starts at 11 a.m. Central. Um, there's a lot of info about it in my community tab and in my Discord server, so if you have any questions or forget anything, you're more than welcome to check there. But with that being said, thank you so much for coming to my stream. Thank you for liking it. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't liked and subscribed already, you should. Both of those things are completely free and a very easy way to support me. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 11 a.m. Central Time for another live stream. Bye, everybody.